Hello guys, this is Mr. Davis and welcome back to the 17th episode of Dishonored. In this episode we are gonna escape the flooded district. First order of business is to get that bow charm. Of course there's a swarm of rats. Well, we don't need to care about them. In the last episode we dealt with doubt and in the episode before that we dealt with, with my allies with the drink. Okay, what's this? Of course. Dropping bodies in the water. It's the way of done, well I guess. Okay, who are these guys? Survivors. There's no hospital, I told you that. You think they round people up because there's a cure? They're city guards. <coughs> They're <coughs> supposed to protect people. <laughs> I don't know, should I help they these do. guys, they but... protect the healthy people from people like us, the sick ones. I'm not... Let's uh, ...that bad. Some people pull through, right? <coughs> don't they? One in a thousand. Ten thousand, probably. <sighs> Any chance, I'll take. What, what I get out of there <coughs> and get better. I'm going to do right this time. Uh, a fresh start. This time. Uh, uh. Goodbye, my so, boy. So sad. Strange. You don't look ill. You're not a victim, not a guard. A spirit from the void, maybe. Another wagon comes every few minutes. How many do you think have died? They say a third of the city. I wouldn't have believed it, but I saw the mound of corpses myself. They dropped us in it. I don't blame them. I know why they do it. But I only wanted to die at home. Poor fellas. Plague wagon's running every couple of minutes now. We just need to get on top of it and ride out of here. Okay, great, smart guy. And what do we do when we hit the wall of light on what short gate? We'll be fried. We can worry about that when we get there. I don't hear you with any better ideas. That's because you've got fat in your ears. Those tall boys are just waiting for a chance to cut loose. We get power to their lights, and they'll go off to hunt plague. We can slip right back. Kill what? Dozen people? I didn't get into this to kill me. If only you knew how to tie up a boat. We need to make up our minds. That guy in the mask I saw? He came up from the dry canal. That's whaler territory. They're bad now. Okay, hello. Whoa. Did you try to hit me? Still you can probably stop that. Or what? What? Okay. You hit me first. Take that, bitches. Guys, or what? Yeah. Although I don't see what took so long. 
gutting another one. How many times have I specified that only cadavers take the long drop? It's why you get a weapon. So what is going on up at the tower? Now they're saying the Lord Regent started the plague himself. I don't understand it either. It looks like a whole other group's in charge. Doesn't change things for us down here. Second item is carriers. Are you seeing plaguers come off the cart looking healthy? A few of them make it back up, and then we've got ten times the mess. Could be. Between killing weepers and finishing the barricade. How should I know? Contractor's note. Remember guys, post a video if you want to read this. Secu security log work. Work security work log. What I ever see down here? I'm just passing this on from the stilt walkers. But we'll pass it to the men on the plague wagons. It's their job to gut these bastards before they throw them down here. We got another whale oil tank on its way. When the lights come on again, it'll be your job to spot any weepers. You think that helps? Now I can stare old ladies in the eye before I cut them down. Why do you think no one lasts on this job? I'm heading back to civilization. Or what's left of it. Keep your head and you'll be on the stilts in no time. I'll do my best. Put in a good word for me, would you? That might be I need more men! Come on, please! Whoa! His head come off. Oh. Oh, there's a uh, tall boys. I'm gonna take them down now. So, seize me. I suck at taking down these door boys. Well, this is one way. Maybe there was the one little route that I could take, but here we are. I'm gonna check out if there's any useful stuff there appears to be a room I need to get that room maybe I can upgrade my powers or something but taking down those tall boys was totally totally unnecessary Up there. Uh, something, somebody moaning nearby. Get back! What the hell are you? Are you some new kind of guard? I'm like a tall boy? Can't be. Doctor. Letter to Alpha. Maybe. <laughs> Just kidding. Assassin, maybe. I'm gonna steal your food, woman. Passing through, huh? Hoping to catch a ride on the plague wagon. A few come through here trying. And they fall and break their necks. But that won't stop you. 
You're almost there. It's pretty easy to get to the rooftops from here. You'll see the way. What do you want from me? To rob me? Looking for a quick roll in the mud? To rescue me? Spirit of the Deep. Well, I am not going anywhere. I came here all on my own, and I'm staying right here. Do you think it's better out there? I hate to break it to you, but this is it. This is Dunwall. What you see right here. Flooded district, estate district, anywhere else. It's all gonna be the same soon. Alright. Don't you have a plague wagon to catch? Yeah. You're a waste of time for me. Oh, nice. Extra coins. Three, three rooms already collected. Nice. I almost electrocuted myself. Bad idea. Auskirts. Right. There's a couple of phone charms and rooms nearby. Six out of eight bones arms collected already. I guess this is the way. It seems that our way goes even deeper to the tunnels and servers. Okay, who are you? Wish I had a last swig of whiskey. You're the masked guy's been taking down all the lords and ladies. No way through this gate unless you got the sewer key. Only one place to get that key and I wouldn't go there. Not for all the gold in Dunwall Tower. Not again. Maybe you could pull it off though. Something attacked us in the distillery. It used the rats. I know it sounds crazy. And then it run back under the streets. So we come down here to kill it. Slackjaw leading the way. Went bad. I barely crawled out. Alright, you are one of the he had the sewer key, though. guys. It was a fog. And then rats. Rats everywhere. Slackjaw chased it. Like our fellow Tug killed himself. Of 
course, there are some more river traps. There's another one. More coins. Okay. The bone charm is in the safe. But how we are gonna get that open? Jelly's next task. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Jelly, you dove chaffer. Here's another one for you. That old witch Granny Rags told me that you'll lose your taste for whiskey in a month of wind. Then your eyes will go dim in a month of seeds. And you'll draw your last breath in a month of ice. If you want your share, you know what to do. It seems this is some sort of clue. 30 months. Okay. Oh, I see. It seems there is like. Yeah, I see. The month of wind, month of seeds, month of ice, month of wind. Month of wind is the fifth month. Month of one. I need to read the chili's next task again. Month of seeds and month of ice. Month of seeds is the second month. And month of of ice is uh, eighth month. Nice. Seven out of eight bone charms found it. I remember in my very first time when I played Dishonored, I did. I always le left the. Uh, bone charm in that safe because I could not unlock it. I never... Uh, yeah, I... I never knew how to unlock that safe, but... It was like... In my second playthrough, in my second playthrough, I watched some YouTube content to how to unlock it. So then I knew how to open the safe. And if you didn't know already, I have played this Dishonored gameplay. I mean, this game story a couple of times, so. I knew some of the stuff that's gonna happen. And I'm guessing that... That... Select choice... With the key, uh, I guess. And I... Also... Uh, it seems that... Granny Rags is boil with him. the nasty fat and sin and carve a pretty song on your bones. Hey! Someone kill this crazy witch! I could make you rich! Alright. Quiet now. Grant There's my love. 
Are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Okay, I can help Granny Rex or I don't do anything. I don't want to even if I can get some presents from, from Granny Rex, I like Slackjaw more. So I'm gonna Not decline. going to help Granny? Well, I'm disappointed. You better leave. You cheating bastard. You're down here too? <laughs> the least you can do is help me out. You swindled me good, masked man. And all along you were the same bastard who killed the Empress. Oh yeah, Corvo. Word is all over the street. Alright. Maybe I'm gonna help Slackjaw. Oh no, you don't. I'll kill you and cook you and eat your heart for breakfast. Yeah, what's you gonna do? Turn into the rats? There's a cameo of a young girl. It's her. Destroy it with the furnace. Says in one of her books it's the only way to get rid of her forever. I know yeah. the cameo don't look like her, but it's supposed to be her when she was young. That's oh, shit. where she gets it's her rats. powers. Throw it into the furnace, burn the cameo, and you kill her. Oh, just like all the others. Die, stupid <laughs> rats. But so wrong. many rats. Can't you I couldn't fight them all. This is strange smelling manuscript. Okay, read it again. Remember, guys, to post a video if you want to read those books. You're a fool to try to help him. A fool. And now you're going to die. I guess it's no point to kill Cranny Rex right away. I need to take that cameo first. They come and go at my command. Oh, nice. This is a cameo. Okay, uh, this is the first that uh, Slack shall talk about. Oh shit, rats! I'm gonna put it there fast. Die, stupid rats. Whoa. Damn. Yeah. Come to me, my furry Holy shit. way to deal with the Grand Rex at least. I didn't want to do the nasty option where I help Granny Rex to cook Slackjaw. And that's the end of Granny Rex. Unlock me. Alright. Wanna know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Yeah, then we grew up you're right. And figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny? I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. 
Luck to you, Corvo. Thank you. Alright. I got myself a couple hundreds worth of coin. There's a outsider painting. Explore, explorer's journal. Some granny crack stuff, I guess. The Leviathan Sorrow. out if there's uh, extra rules or bones or no. they all appear appears to be over here okay this is another uh, another of outsiders right let's hear you what the black eyes pastor has to say places, Corvo. at the eye of the storm Raging between granny rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other. Crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Pretty, pretty bad. Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. True. And Dowd. The man who killed the Empress. You had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away. He's a cool character, by the you way. Fascinate me. I'm in doubt. Nice. Extra loot. Okay. Let's get inside the drain. Here we go. This is the place. There's a dead Puddle Street gang member. Oh shit, the sweeper. We are inside some sort of weeper den. Oh Take him down. Efficiently. Oh shit, there's a couple of these guys. Jesus, there are a lot of these sweeper guys. Okay, there's more. Oh shit. There's three more. Well, that's the one way to deal with these guys. The 
I guess that he would take that. It's the right way to kill those weepers because they are already six and they need to be put down and they aren't civilians. So I guess it's it's the right way, right thing to do. Even if they are not even if they are not overseers or city watch guys. one way to deal with those pieces. Okay, it's time to get out of here. Not useful here. I guess we are... This is the end of the level. Yeah. It's the... It's a Hound Pits pub. I guess... This is gonna be end of this episode. We are gonna see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.